In a world where every video I ever made looked like complete garbage, there came a time when I finally got a new camera. So now you can not only watch me in HD, but also in 4K. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So as you can see, I finally got a new camera. First and foremost, I gotta thank my cousin Vinny. Family. Great, who? My cousin Vinny! The dude is my guy and he's been supporting this channel ever since I started. Uh, great guy. He got me these lights, the 4K camera, uh, it was just way too much, so big shout out and thank you to him. And uh, so this will be a quick little video, and uh, I'm still figuring everything out. If this quality isn't as great as I want it to be, uh, you know, I'm still trying to figure out the lights, how to actually work this. I literally just got this camera today, uh, so I still have to fix some things or, you know, you know, just figure stuff out with it. So if this isn't perfect quality, just give me some time. And uh, so I thought I might as well just give a little update on the channel so far and with my life, I guess. Uh, I tested positive for COVID. Uh, it's not the biggest deal. I think it's the Omicron variant because the symptoms aren't that bad. Uh, I did have COVID last year and that was a lot worse. Uh, but I'm doing all right. Uh, you know, one of the perks of this is that I can just sit in my room and watch movies all day without really with any, anyone questioning it. Uh, so yesterday I was able to watch Matrix Resurrection and uh, I enjoyed the movie. I didn't think it was great. I didn't think it was too bad. I think it was a little bit unneeded and a little bit weird with the meta-ness. Uh, but once I allowed myself to have fun with it, I actually enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, then I watched Don't Look Up, the new movie on Netflix, directed by Adam McKay, who also directed Step Brothers, Anchorman, uh, The Big Short, and then Leonardo DiCaprio's in it, Ariana Grande's in it, Kate Blanchett's in it, Jennifer Lawrence's in it, Timothy Calumet's in it, a bunch of other people are in it, and uh, I actually enjoyed it. I, I thought it was good, I didn't think it was great. Uh, it, it was pretty funny here and there, some of the characters did get annoying, uh, but the whole concept of a meteorite coming into Earth and seeing how both sides, like the left and right, and the media and the rich, how they all would deal with it, in this little comedic way. I thought it was pretty funny. And then I watched Encanto, which is the new movie in Disney+. Plus. Uh, Lin-Manuel Miranda does the music for it. That was probably the best movie out of those three for me. I'm a sucker for those Pixar musical movies. Uh, Encanto just had like that strong message, great animation, great music, and uh, you know, it just got to me. So I love that one. And then to cap off my night, after those three movies, I finished it off with It's a Wonderful Life, the classic. Perfect, perfect way to end Christmas Eve. Uh, perfect movie. It really doesn't get much better than It's Wonderful Life. Amazing. Another thing I want to show you guys was that I might as well show you what else I got for Christmas. Uh, any of you guys want to show me what you guys got or at least tell me what you guys got in the comments. Uh, just comment down below. Anything you got for Christmas, Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate. Uh, any big gifts you got, just comment down below. Uh, one big thing I got that you know, I'm big on collecting. Uh, if you guys want to check out some of my collection videos I did a while back. Uh, I made a playlist, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but I got the Columbia Classics 4K Volume 2 Collection. I have Volume 1, volume one behind me. This one consists of Anatomy of a Murder, Oliver, Taxi Driver, Stripes, Sense and Sensibility, and The Social Network, all in 4K. It's a beautiful set. It opens up like this, all Columbia Pictures movies uh, in 4K. I love these sets. I think they're so cool. And you can only really get these movies in 4K if you buy this set. So I think that's pretty cool as well. Uh, some other things I got. I got the uh, Venom 2 uh, 4K Steelbook. I love Steelbooks. This art design is amazing. And uh, and that movie was okay. I didn't another one. I didn't hate or I didn't love it. I guess it's pretty bad, but uh, some people definitely had some fun with it. Then I got the Wolf of Wall Street 4K Steelbook. Uh, you know, perfect movie. Scorsese, DiCaprio, love Wolf of Wall Street. Then I got arguably one of the best sequels of all time. Uh, not even arguably. It's kind of just definite. Uh, Terminator 2 4K Steelbook. The slipcover is sick. Uh, my cousin Vinny also got me this. And a shout out to him. Uh, you know, Terminator 2 doesn't get much better than that in terms of action movies. And then uh, last I got Mulholland Drive in 4K. I plan on getting some of the other Criterion 4Ks like Citizen Kane, Uncut Gems. I might get Medicine to Society as well. Uh, but I'm big on collecting. I just haven't done it in a while. I'm trying to save some money. Uh, but to get these, it's always great. So comment down below what you guys got for Christmas. Uh, some more updates for the channel. I have a Yellow Jackets video coming out tonight. Uh, I do plan on reviewing some more movies next year in 2022. I plan on going to theater more, checking out some more movies and uh, other things I've been watching, I'm watching The Witcher, if anyone else is watching The Witcher and uh, finishing up some other things. So uh, let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. Just want to showcase my new camera. Uh, just kind of a test run for me as well. Just see how everything looked and uh, I'll figure stuff out. It doesn't look perfect. And then uh, make sure to subscribe if you're new, if you're new here and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Have a great rest of the day. Happy holidays. Catch you guys next time.